Ed, you spoke to the CEO, and I'm curious if what was sort of hope and optimism now translating into real numbers. Well, it's really a case of the coronavirus pandemic accelerating the company's shift to becoming an e-commerce company. You know, they had this restructuring plan that they announced in August. Brick and mortar has really suffered even predating COVID. If you come with me into, my, into the Bloomberg, I have this chart. And if you look at the column on the right-hand side, that is that surprise comparable sales growth that we saw in the quarter. It's the first growth in comparable sales since the fourth quarter of fiscal 2016. But if you dig deeper, it's the digital traffic that's the big driver. Digital channel sales growth was approximately 89% in the quarter. The company added 2 million new online customers, 800,000 of which were shopping at Bed Bath & Beyond for the first time. And when I spoke to CEO Mark Tritton, what he had to say is really this is the COVID categories, right? People are spending more time at home either for work or for education they're buying things for the kitchen as well cooking more meals at home and those are the product areas that they're seeing he described it as green shoots in the quarter that these were early signs of a trend but as we've moved into september that strong sales growth has continued and they're seeing these kinds of buying patterns continue and i mean you talk about mark tritton of course i mean he came to this company about a year ago uh with a lot of fanfare former target executive uh i am curious as to whether this COVID bump is going to be lasting, particularly into this holiday quarter, Ed. He says customers are still reluctant to visit stores, but when they do, their basket size is much bigger. You know, they may be afraid to go out to the store, but they're spending more dollars and they're buying more products, even if they're shopping less frequency. The key thing is, and it's something that Amazon identified earlier on in the pandemic, right? Customers, consumers are buying more frequently online. You know, they, uh, Tritton described them as stickier customers. Mm. And even with this big holiday season approaching where consumers tend to buy around Black Friday, those condensed days, we, he's not expecting to see that. He thinks that spending will be spread out, more will be through e-commerce channels. But there's also a role to play for curbside pickup, things like that. He calls it the omni-channel approach. But that is a trend that we are seeing, that consumers are buying more frequently through e-commerce platforms, even if they're spending slightly less, and he expects that to continue going forward.